Good morning, Merry Easter 2022 and all that. So this morning I am changing the pads and discs on a Skoda Octavia Mark III VRS Estate, if it matters. Uh, I did the near side yesterday uh, on the fifth attempt, uh, purely because I kept having to buy extra bits of kit and tools and whatnot. So now I know exactly how to do it. Uh, this should be a bit smoother. I'll go through the tools and stuff that I'm using first and then I will do the video in sections otherwise it'll be quite gone for a while. It took me maybe an hour start to finish yesterday so luckily I've got a trolley jack, I've got an axle stand just for, for safety that's not bearing any weight at the moment but obviously it'll save me life if anything goes wrong. Uh, I have a tub just to put any nuts and bolts in so they don't roll away. A breaker bar, um, you'll understand why I needed that. Uh, later on, that's the last piece of kit that I bought. Uh, I've got my socket set, so there's my 17 just for the wheel nuts, which I've already done obviously. Uh, this is a pa um, uh, brake piston rewind tool. Uh, again, you'll see that in action in a bit. 13mm, 17mm hammer, uh, and then these are kind of just extra bits that I needed. This was one of the awkward pieces that I had to buy. Um, not exactly sure what you call it. I'll just get the box. It's uh, this is the set I bought um, off uh, everyone's favourite internet purchasing site. Uh, so it's the 14 um, piece that you need. I think some places call it like an X Y N socket. Um, that's for two bolts at uh, the back of the caliper around here. So uh, when I get to that point, you you'll see. Um, one of these, uh, not, uh, not an Allen key, um, posi drive I think it is for the, the disc mount and then I've got my new pads and uh, the discs which I've got the uh, M-Tech discs and Mintex pads so um, I'll crack on and as I say I'll, I'll edit the video later um, to show each section so the first part I'm going to do uh, is a 13mm on here and a 17mm here uh, to, to start undoing the uh, the caliper. So just before I started, I've undone the um, brake uh, brake fluid reservoir cap is off. The handbrake is undone, and it's in gear just to stop it rolling. Because um, you have to disconnect the um, handbrake cable, which is here. So in a second, I'll just push that forward, and I'll just pull the uh, the little. Uh, little nipple, if that's what it's called, out from uh, behind the caliper release. So I'll put the video back on shortly. Okay, so uh, as shown momentarily, I have undone the 13mm, uh, sorry, at the back of here, uh, whilst having a 17mm uh, on the, the bolt in front. So two spanners required for that. 17 on here, 17 there, 13 there. And then you can undo the bolts. You might find that that bolt catches at the back. It doesn't matter because this whole unit uh, is now going to come off. He says, hopefully. Yeah. So that will, will slide off now, and you have to be careful not to let go because it's the only thing holding it to the car at the moment is your, your brake lines um, and your handbrake cable. So that is pretty heavy. So you might find you can just hook it over the back of the uh, the framework there. So that comes off. That's your main caliper with pistons. Then you can take your brake pads out, which you'll see a pretty goose on this one. Down to the wear mark, which is why it's making Lots of noise when we're driving. And do the same with the other pad at the back. Don't worry about damaging the disc at this stage because I'm going to whack it with a hammer in a minute to get it off. So there's your other, other brake pad off. There we go. Yeah, pretty goosed. So now what's needed. There's the two bolts at the rear. I've got my finger on one. And you can see there's one there and there's one 
lower down just behind here and this is where I was getting stuck the last time as I was trying to do this job so my tip is find the uh, socket there it is looking at me so this is the um, XYN or whatever they want to call it that needs to go into the nut and then I'm going to reach under with a hammer I'm going to basically hammer that into the the bolt so there's one there and there's one about four inches lower um, and they hold the uh, the pad cradle on so this is where it gets a bit of a, a bit awkward um, just due to the linkages so once that's hammered on I use the breaker bar and it'll be all about just getting some kind of angle onto that socket uh, and undoing it as best you can there's not really a great way to film that if you can get a ramp that would be my advice um, yeah so we'll crack on now and get the uh, pad cradle undone and then we'll get move on to the disc so I've managed to loosen the bolt now the angle just to show you that I had to have the tool in so ignore the fact that there's a uh, ratchet socket on at the moment this was on it a minute ago and I had to have it at this sort of angle and then lift as far as I could and got to about here before it becomes uh, stuck, although the bolt is loose at this point, and I had to hammer um, the breaker bar off. A bit, a bit of brute force, just hammered it off that way. Uh, and now that it's loose, I can use a standard ratchet socket to get the bolt right out. And it, it's such a pain because of how much stuff linkages etc there is there's no um it's just not easy to get to it's a pain in the backside and then there's a lower one i've got to do in a minute as well uh which is why i say if you can get a ramp get a ramp because this is the hard bit everything else is fairly straightforward okay so finally got those two bolts out um they are particularly long there's one the other one's just next to it, underneath the uh, extension bar once those bolts are off, you can remove very carefully because I don't want to drop the piston section. So this can just slide off. There you go. I'm just going to rest that back there. So there's your pad cradle off. Uh, you can see those two holes where the bolts were going through. Um, being held on to the rest of the assembly so um, once that's off it's time to get the disc off I'll undo this bolt it's never very tight because it's actual wheel and wheel nuts that hold the disc on so we get that off and then this is the bit you might scream at so to get a disc off we can whack it with a hammer. So I'll have a couple of goes, and if it doesn't work, I'll do it off camera. Not because I don't want you to see, it's because uh, I might need a bit more brute force. So you literally just whack it to dislodge it. Oh, yeah. Pull that back. I'm worried that's gonna fall. Oh, right, I'm gonna do it off camera just because I need to uh, attach that somehow. And then I'll, uh, I'll get it off. There we go. 30 seconds later, the disc's off. And all I did was whack it with a hammer. And it comes loose. It comes loose and then you can slide it off and get rid of that out of your way. And you're left with what we can see here. So I've got a wire brush. I'm just going to brush away as much of the rust as I can. And then I shall use this tool just to wind the piston back in otherwise I'll have loads of fun trying to get the pads back in so there's your piston there you can see the two grooves either side uh, I mean the, the pad rewind tool speaks for itself uh, the black plate sits on the back part 
of the uh, caliper uh, and then this silver part screws in and just compresses the piston so it might be difficult for me to show you that but they, they do come with instructions if you've got one of them uh, the main part I've found from trying it several times now is those big long bolts now you can see what uh, they connect into and they're the hard part that I've always had because they're right behind there you've got all this linkage um, and it's just a case of giving yourself a bit of time get a breaker bar um, the one I've got uh, is a Draper Expert it was only about 12 quid off um, off Amazon and I think in hindsight I would maybe get a slightly shorter one um, so I'll post the length of it um, in the comments uh, only because a yes it was easier to get the bolts undone with the length however it was quite difficult given the space around the wheel arch uh, so maybe go for about a four four fifty mil um, would probably be my my learning point from this four fifty mil and a bit more brute force um, but yeah the hard bit's done now to put it all back together so you can see I've got the disc on now in position after brushing away as much of the rust as I could. Uh, I've also put the um, piston uh, rewind tool in place just so you can see how that sort of attaches on. Uh, I was having a bit of trouble with it so I'm going to do that uh, once I've got the um, caliper uh, housing back on and I can attach one of the bolts uh, and it'll just keep it a bit more rigid for me so I'll come back to that shortly. Uh, there's the original bolt that I've used just to put the disc back on uh, and then I'm going to basically reassemble everything so this will uh, slot back over here the two bastard bolts at the back back in um, and then I can reattach the uh, the piston and compress the, uh, the piston so I'll come back to you shortly. All finished, job done, uh, everything put back together. Don't forget to reattach the handbrake cable. And you can even see that, just that little grommet back in there. Make sure you reattach that. Um, I've left the bonnet open on purpose so that I remember to put the cap back on the brake reservoir. Um, yeah, all good. Uh, I hope that's of some use to someone. If you want to message me if you need any advice I will try um, or if anyone wants um, face to face chat whatever uh, I'm in uh, on the Merseyside Lancashire border um, near McGull and Ormskirk so I'll put it all in the comments and uh, good luck persevere and um, save some pennies do it yourself